don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So as you can tell, you're in my bathroom with me. So as promised, I showed you guys this mess in a weekly vlog. This mess I was gifted by Carbon Plus. I was so excited to try this mask because this mask is a natural product and also it's a black owned business. I've been using this mask for five days and I should have showed y'all yesterday because I don't think I have any breakouts on my skin right now. Two times this week I had a breakout right here and right here. After I put this mask on, like instantly my bump went down, next day it was gone. And yeah, I did use it five times but I don't use it a lot. It's not filled to the top, but a little bit goes a long way. It doesn't come filled to the top, so I don't want you to be alarmed if you do buy it. And say, why is it not filled to the top? So, it's okay. And again, so this is made from natural products. So let me read what it says on the jar. This is for our skin types, essential oils, nourish your skin, and protect it against environmental pollution. Also, the benefits is a secret concentrated anti-asian formula from african activated coconut charcoal purifies your skin leaving it fresh and hydrated and it really really does so it says to leave on for five minutes but i usually do my mask on for 10 to 15 minutes so i'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes so wait a minute grab that little brush it does smell natural and what i mean by that is you probably gotta get used to the smell uh I'm pretty used to natural smelling products because I, I used to make a lot of my own natural products at home so therefore it isn't any artificial fragrances in there to make it smell good. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells natural, that's all I'm going to say about that. Thin layer does the trick, you don't need a whole lot. 10 minutes on my phone. Time's up. Wash my hands and then my rinse this off my face. My skin bare. Feels really good, smooth, it does not irritate my skin at all. Also, when I rinse the mask off, I feel like it's a light exfoliator too. So I just rinse it off and you know go in a circular motion with my hands. Get a nice little light scrub, and that is it. Put that in here. Hey y'all, hey, it's that me every day. Today is Monday. I'm taking my sister driving. She went to driving school and now she needs, of course, you know, driving on the road experience. But I've never drove with her before, so we're not doing no road today. We're going in the parking lot. Nothing else really going on today. Chill day. Tomorrow is my first day back to work after being off for like 10 days, I don't know, 10, 12 days. So that was much needed which it could be a little longer what is this girl doing she stopped in the store to grab something she was taking forever finally God damn. so i can see her yeah my blast. sister in the driver's seat <laughs> well give me the strength for this patience um over there on oh, your yeah. hey so where's the, the, the uh i i can see out the barriers okay we also will um the left right there click on it so when i okay so down is left and up is right mm -hmm. okay what else all right so you ready this is stressing me the heck out oh my gosh we get in the car she wants to say all right so the uh the braces on the right what I thought she was with the driving school. Boy, it's about to be a short little trip. She's <laughs> not. Are uh, you ready? Where are you going? Oh, I was going to drive. How are you going to drive without putting it in drive? <laughs> Sinead, I'm not playing with you. Did you ever drive? You said you did. I don't believe you. How do you know it's in drive? Because it say D. Hey, look up there. Can you see it D right there. Alright. Put it in reverse. Let's see if you know how to do that. Say reverse. Yes, yeah, say over. Um, we got the camera there too, but don't need to worry about that camera. Alright, so where am I driving to? You know how to turn? Yes. Okay, I want you to drive a little bit, make a stop, like it's a stop sign, and I want you to make a left turn. 
straighten the wheel, straighten it. And then like go to like the beginning of the grass, not um, past that intersection. Okay. Let me make a stop. Stop. Stop, Shanae. I am. Why, you, why is the car going this way? It's supposed to go straight. So they just go back a little bit, like straight with straight. I can't even get down. Straight. Just turn your wheel down. Slow down. So break, 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 break. Oh, I love it. All right. I love it. Oh. Break, 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 break. Oh. Sorry is that you don't know your brakes. That's not safe. Like you gonna have to learn that. You okay? Yeah, I'm scared out of my mind. Shaking. We could have been down that hill tonight. But it's like it's on park. So let's. We gonna take a break. I just dropped my sister off. Girl, she done scared me half to death. Because I told her she just stopped lying. She told me that she was ready to drive on the street. So I'm thinking that she was more advanced with her driving than she really was. Now, if she was to say, you know, I need some more practice and then I'll drive on the street. Okay, cool. But that's not what she said. She made it seem like she was ready to drive, you know, on the road. I was expecting her to, me to just sit there and she already know what she's doing. Okay, then let's go on the streets. Uh, no, that's not what happened. But anyway, she did okay for a beginner and there's nothing wrong that we all got started from somewhere. Just don't be lying and make it seem like, you know, what you're doing to get down. Now I'm on my way home. I went to Giant, grabbed some more yogurts and some bread and this new drink. I'm going to show y'all this drink. That's this new coffee drink. With me not drinking or eating dairy, it's kind of hard to find iced coffees that's flavored with non-dairy product. So I saw this at Giant today, and it was buy one, get one free. And so I said, eh, I guess I'll try it. Have y'all tried this one? If so, let me know, do you like it? I'll probably try it tomorrow. This is vanilla flavor, and it's made with oat milk. Then I grabbed, of course, my favorite yogurts. They were at Dollar at Giant this week. So I grabbed three of uh, the Blue Diamonds. This is the Black Cherry one, and I grabbed three more of the vanilla. Hey, vanilla. I haven't seen one of these in so long since I lived in an area where they had corner stores. I haven't lived in an area like that in so long. So I haven't had one of these in forever. So I'm gonna turn this up when I get in the house. And just some Martin's potato bread. Hey y'all, I'm just getting off work. Today is my first day, or today was my first day. I'm talking, you know. Today was my first day back at work after being off for how many days was I off for? Friday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, 12 days. Wow, I was off my first day being back at work for being off for 12 days. But look what my job got me. I like my kitchen is horrible. Anyway, they got me some flowers. And uh, the rest of these balloons, the pink and silver ones are balloons I already had from over the weekend. And they gave me a happy birthday balloon. <clears throat> and a card. And for a gift card, it's a um, $25 gift card to Macy's. And they also had a cake. It was, um, it was one of my co-workers, one of her birthday too on the 20th, so they had two cakes and everything. That was very nice and then they didn't have to do that. But I'm all for a long period of time. You know how some people are like, oh, I can't wait to get back to work? No, that's not how I feel. I'm more probably irritated that I gotta go back because I've been off for so long. I'm used to living my best life and now I gotta go back to working. And then after work, I went to the dollar store. So yeah, I went to the dollar store, grabbed something. And that's all these cute little socks. So I'll just pick me up some. A little socks. I like. I like to wear them with my work clothes, my uniform. They're just the cutest, cutest little things. It's a double pack.
Yep, but they go all just one dollar a piece. Let me know down in the comments if y'all like the way flowers smell. They honestly don't smell like anything to me besides like grass and plants. I don't know. Some people like, oh, I love roses. Yeah. They're pretty though. We had plants. All of them died except for one. I do have a one bamboo plant in my room. So I think I'm gonna put this in my room as well. My cat, he doesn't play with plants but what well, flowers i don't trust them around flowers i think he might mess with yeah it would be nice if i could just set my flowers right on the table don't mind the cooler over there that was from my cookout we had over the weekend but it would be so cute if i could just leave my flowers here while we're having dinner but no because it probably be petals all over the floor messing with a nino that's the original vase I usually keep there without any flowers because like I said Nino will probably smack them around so I just had my little empty vase or vase however you want to pronounce it sitting on my dining room table hey y'all it's Amir Renee welcome to my channel see this is the reason why I'm going to the store today so I've been using almond oil under my eye for the last couple years I have hereditary um, dark circles under my eyes. My father, my grandmother, it just all have it on that side of the family. So I've been using almond oil and it has been doing a trick, but lately I noticed in my last couple videos, my eyes is looking oily, but still dark. So it's not even working anymore. So I don't know what else I could use. Something more on the, let say natural side. By the way. I haven't found any under eye cream that I really like that helps with that. If you know any, not puffiness, dark circles if you know any under eye creams or treatments that help with dark circles let me know in the comments down below because i don't know what else to do so i'm gonna stop at the vitamin shop i also use jojoba oil on my face at night so i didn't bring the other one i'm running low on this one so i want to grab another bottle let me show you what else i use i just started using this maybe like a two months ago this is palmer's skin treatment oil and has rose hip in it it's okay i will say this absorbs into your skin really good versus the whole but it sits on my skin it absorbs but it's really oily sometimes i like that depending on if i wore makeup that day and i need to really scrub and clean my skin i want something really really moisturizing and sometimes i don't want that so i'll use this oil and also this oil has i don't say it on the bottom but i know on the packaging, the box, I think it was salicylic acid. It was something in here that helps with acting. So if I feel like I'm okay with my skin and doesn't have any breakouts right now at the moment, then I won't use that. I'll go back to the jojoba oil. And for the daytime, I have been using this for like two or three months. And I really like it. Uh, it's not as mattifying as I would like it to be. But it's pretty good. Uh, um, yeah, it does the job. So I need to go to the vitamin shop to get some oils. And I need to go to Walmart. I went to Walmart the other day and I brought some more of the little um, UV, the UV solar lights. Are they solar lights? The little solar lights that you put outside your house. I brought some to go down the side of my driveway because when we first moved to this house, tell me why we went to Home Depot and we brought like a six pack of the lights. They were like probably $50, $60. Fast forward to now, when I went to Walmart, they had individual lights and they were like 94 cents. I'm like, hey. Does the same thing, so I want to grab a couple more lights. I probably insert a clip here. I'm gonna show y'all at nighttime too, but in the daytime, this is how I look. So these, the silver ones, we got from Home Depot. One of them broke when the guy that was cutting grass he picked it up and dropped it. But anyway, how you doing? Good. It's my neighbor. But anyway, I, um. These little black ones is the ones that we got from Walmart for 97 cents. But I want lights all up and down the, um, the driveway. It looks pretty at night. Some detergent. 
Oh, and I've been on a search for... Oh, gosh. Let me go back downstairs and find it. For this Johnson & Johnson baby cologne. No, I don't have a baby. But my mother put me onto that years ago. So after I get out the shower, I like to smell nice and fresh. So I don't want to put any perfume on. So I put that on and I just smell nice and, and fresh and clean. So I really like this. I'm down to my last little... Last little drop. I went to Target. They don't have it. I usually get it for Walmart. I went to Walmart twice this week and they didn't have any. So I'm going to try again. Alright y'all, let's go. Get this day started. Okay, we're gonna waste this store. I wanted to show y'all this juice. So I got this from Audi. This cold pressed juice. And it is so good. It has apple, pineapple, cucumber, kale, spinach, lemon, and ginger. Really, really good. And then you can read all the ingredients in the back. There's no artificial ingredients. It says, yeah, apple juice, pineapple juice, cucumber juice, kale juice, spinach juice, lemon juice, ginger juice. Yep. That's all that's in here. All natural ingredients. All right, y'all. Let's go. These couple stores. It feels good outside today. It's only 75 degrees. Mm. Really good. I just came over here like two days ago, so I don't know why I thought they would probably stock some more, but they don't have any right now, my baby clone. So I guess I might, I haven't ordered it before, but I guess I could order it off of Amazon. I'm almost out and I want it. I'm gonna check one other area where they keep Johnson & Johnson products and if they don't have it, I guess I gotta order it. So these are the ones we have right now. I'm gonna grab a couple more, but they have a lot of nice ones that are really inexpensive. Walmart I went to they were closing so they didn't have all these other options and these are all way more affordable than Home Depot even a whole set of eight is $24 that's that's good but now I don't want to have too many mix and matching looking crazy oh they even got them in like the little rocks that is so cute What is this? I think I want at least, I don't know, at least seven, no, 10, I don't know. One, two, three, four. So we are in the vitamin shop. I brought it with me to the store because I know I was going to get so it's right there. I'm gonna grab that. Just looking around, seeing what else they have. Uh, I love Dr. Bronner's products. Amazing. Watch my DIY videos. I usually get all my essential oils from here because the price is better and also it's 100% whatever that oil is. So when you go to like the beauty supply stores and they say it's tea tree oils, usually mixed with something else versus from the vitamin shop, if it's tea tree oil, get on in the ingredients, it will say only tea tree oil. 
purses. You don't know what you're getting from the Bree Supply Store. You get a whole bunch of anything. And they have it at sale right now. Mix and match, buy two, get one free. I don't think I need anything else right now at the moment. I might look around and see if they have any creams for under my eye. And I have sweet almond oil, but oh, I feel like I need to change, change up my under eye treatment. See, I came back to get another one, but there's only one left, so there's no point in me getting it. But I'm gonna get one free. Guess I won't be getting it. It wasn't all that, it was okay. It says it was about when I get my free, I was gonna come back and get two more, but they don't have it. So let me just grab my yogurts that are on sale for a dollar still. This one, let me have one blueberry. Let's all grab these three. And I still do like the silk as well. I suppose I went to two, maybe three stores. I'm on my way to my sixth store, six. That's why I only need to leave the house. I like staying in the house because then my money will stay in my pocket. I've ever seen something, thinking about something extra to buy. So we went to Vitamin Shop, Walmart, Giant. I didn't take y'all into Aldi with me because I just needed to grab some vegetables for our dinner we're making tonight. This fucking car. People drive so silly. But anyway, um, yeah. So I just went out to grab some vegetables I got some asparagus and some Brussels sprouts and they usually have Tide in there but they didn't have the Tide that I wanted so now I'm like oh my gosh I gotta stop at another store but now I need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's because I realized I didn't replace one of the lights in my kitchen and I'd be forgetting about that light but I remember you can have to stop right there I don't like to beat my horn anymore because first of all people are freaking crazy and so many senseless murders incidents happening over road rage it seemed like every week a child has been shot or died from a road rage situation i think you got to be out your mind like for real to shoot in a car period but then shooting the car you don't even know who in the car like that is crazy to me so I chilled out on Beeper and a Horn, and then especially, did y'all see the movie Unhinged? I don't know if I told y'all about that. But if you haven't, Russell Crowe plays in that, oh, check it out because my people is crazy, okay? Really, really crazy. So I tried to do a little courtesy beep, like ain't nobody in front of me, like a little, like a little, you know, a little boop, light change, or boop, get off your phone and drive. I try not to hold my horn for a long period of time because I ain't got time for nobody crazy killing me over no dumb road rage situation. I got life to live. I see y'all in Home Depot. So this says light bulbs. I don't Let's pull out my phone and see what kind of light bulb I need or we need. Girl, I'm so clumsy. So all the lights are right here in front of me, but I don't know how to pick them out. I need some help. This is confusing. Let me see if I can find something like this. You know Home Depot, they like to play cotton and all these big old owls. All right, wait, this say, 40 T. Oh, here goes 40 T. 12. 40 T. 12. Oh. Let me 
help me. She's so helpful. She got the light bulbs. They come to in the pet. The only thing, the only thing is I I was gonna bring my light bulb with me because they come in different lengths, but we guess it and it must be the one I had the longest one. And if not, then I'll just bring it back. They got my tide here, so let's stop. Grab my tide. Not bad price either. Ten dollars. I'm gonna say this was probably like eight dollars from if I would have got it from Aldi, but they were uh, all out of it. A long day running to back and forth to the stores, and I'm not done. I need to cook. Or maybe my boyfriend might cook dinner, but I need to cook, and I want to put those solar lights outside. I think my mother's gonna stop by. And that might be it. <sighs> all right, let's go. Let's see items. All right, I'm done. I'm running around. All these stores all day. Well, the young lady, she was so nice at Home Depot. And the, um, the young guy, he was nice helping me out. Home Depot was just too big for me to navigate by myself. I'd be in there for hours trying to find two little things. But anyway, the young lady was like, um, you can always bring the lights back. If they're not the right light bulbs, they just can't come back if they broke. I can't bring them back. So what did I do? I almost dropped them as soon as I left out of Home Depot. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. I was like, yeah, I said, oh gosh, I'm going to try not to because, girl, I'm clumsy. They're going to give you my money back. All right, so we back in the house. My boyfriend, he did put the lights up. So is it brighter in here? I don't know. I don't know if it's brighter in here or not, but he just put the salmon in. So he seasoned the salmon with this rub that we got from Costco's and I wanted some pineapples with my salmon as well. So he seasoned it with this and put some pineapples, put it on top of a bed of pineapples. I'm doing the vegetables. So he's gonna have asparagus. I'll probably eat something too. Asparagus. And I'm gonna have some Brussels sprouts and carrots. And I season both with this buttery steakhouse seasoning we got from Costco's as well so hopefully it's really good Ooh, come on a lot so for this mixture I did the buttery seasoning some garlic powder some crushed red hot and some roasted garlic and rosemary and for this we did the same thing I think I'm gonna say my boyfriend probably add some more of this on it as well. Some more of the honey herb rub. And then some garlic. And the same seasons I use. And of course we drizzle it with some olive oil. See, I'm about to pop these in the oven. Ooh, we already have the salmon in there. Looking good. So I'm gonna pop. The vegetable was in there for probably like 35 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it will be prepared. Dinner is served, y'all. This is my pineapple salmon. Oh, that look good. Sitting on a bed of pineapples. A little bit of white rice and roasted veggies. I hope y'all can see it's nighttime and I'm showing y'all how my yard look of all the lights we put out. So, let me show you. So we added some, I don't mind my crazy looking shadow, but we added them all the way down the end of the yard. I think it stopped like right here. So I added those couple. And then, in between the bigger ones that I said I got from Home Depot, we added a couple of the smaller, 97 cent ones we got from Walmart. I have one more, the 97 cent ones I want to put like right here, but it doesn't work. So I might take it back or just buy another one just to put right here, right there. But I like it.